welcome to another vlog. I know I say this so, so much, but I really, really need to start being more consistent with vlogging because I feel like I chat to you and then I don't put my camera up for three days and then you guys are just out of the loop. And actually, I know a lot of you like watch the vlog just to keep up with like day-to-day -day stuff. So for the millionth time, I'm going to vlog more. I promise. I promise, I promise I'm going to try, but today is, what day is it? Thursday. England played last night and beat Denmark. Me and the boys watched it with Rick. We had a proper like boys night. We had curry. I made homemade cookies, homemade popcorn. We watched them win 2-1. It was so much fun. I don't actually know when I suddenly enjoyed football so much, but I actually really, really enjoyed it and I'm so looking forward to Sunday. The boys have gone off to school on an absolute high this morning. We've had three Lions playing. They're just absolutely on top of the world. It is so, so exciting. Um, so yeah, that was yesterday and then today is Thursday. I have been doing a load of admin work this morning and then I have like showered and put a nice fresh layer of fake tan on. I've been using a new fake tan actually. It's Bondo Sands Foaming Water. I'll put it on the screen here for you and I'll link it in the description because it's really good and what I have been finding lately is I get really dry skin on my neck like eczema on my neck and this is one that actually hasn't been irritating it so I've actually got like patch free uh, neck at the moment and it just lasts really well obviously like I'm very pale now it's not actually um, developed yet so I'll this vlog will probably carry on into tomorrow so hopefully tomorrow I can show you what it actually comes out like but um so I've done that I've caught up on loads of admin I've woke up this morning and, and you know when you have one of those days where you're like I just need to get everything out of my head I feel like for the last few days I've just been like coasting and had so much to do but just couldn't cope with it mentally so I sat down this morning wrote myself a to-do list literally hour by hour for the day um and I've just cracked on with so much work that I needed to get done um this week that I've just been completely procrastinating about and managed to get it all done so I'm actually going to sit down and have a little bit of a bite to eat and a coffee now and then I have a PT session booked in with Rick He's told me, because I keep moaning at him, like, you're doing PT sessions for everybody else and then you never train me. So he said, <clears throat> so he said, right, just book in like an actual client. So I'm booked in at one o'clock for a PT session with him. We're going to do glutes and hamstrings and bless him. He sent me a little picture this morning <laughs> and it was me last night getting ready um, for bed just in my pants. And it was just a picture of like me with my in just my pants and my bum and he was just being really really nice and saying like how he couldn't believe how much my bum's grown how much how perky it's looking and I was like oh like he's literally just my biggest fan it was so so cute um so that was really nice so we're going to do glutes and hamstrings today um and I was I was kind of worried that like training this much was gonna start getting me bulky but I think just because I'm being so good with my diet I feel like I'm just not, I'm not bulking up. And somebody sent me the most lovely message on Instagram the day saying, oh my God, your arms look so toned. And it literally made my day because, I mean, if you followed me for a while on here, you know how much I always bang on about, I hate my arms, I've got old lady arms. They're just like saggy and flabby. And actually they're starting to feel a little bit more toned and having like a bit of definition to them. I mean, I've still got like bingo wings, but they're on the way out. I'm very excited. So yeah, so that is my plans today. I've also, in other news, yesterday something very exciting arrived. Our new sofa. Oh my goodness. How beautiful is it? So this is basically the same sofa that we had before, but the one we had before was like a grey velvet, whereas this is like a it's like a greyish kind of colour and it's like a, well it's like a beigey and it's like a material rather than, um, the other one was like a, the other one was like a, um, like a kind of velvety kind of thing and I just completely had gone off it. And then I also updated the prints above the board because we had like a grey one and then I ordered this one which is more like a beigey kind of one um, and put that up. I absolutely love these. These are from Desenio and they're just so easy just to like switch and change. So I just think in general, let me show you from a better angle. 
So just in general, it's looking, doggies are here, it's looking a little bit more um, neutral in here. So we were gonna wait until we moved. I just literally couldn't cope with the gray. I'd completely gone off it. So I'm very, very happy um, about this. And honestly, these sofas, are literally the most comfy sofa ever and there's such a good uh, you can get down you're not allowed up here so um yeah they're a really good price actually they're, they're such a reasonable price um sofa doggies come here what's this very very happy with how it is looking in there now much more like neutral little base so when we move to the new house we are having like a like a little snug and then a big kitchen diner so this is just going to go in the snug and it's literally going to be like a little tv room because actually we don't use this room much at all we're always like in the kitchen dining room so i'm excited we actually went down to the house as well the other day and saw the progress on that it's all plastered we're doing like flooring and things now and today i actually have to go through and start organizing the kitchen stuff a lot of it we're getting from somewhere local called Markovich so I've got to go and order a lot of stuff from there and then there's loads of little bits and bobs that we're going to use to like um and then there's loads of little bits and bobs that we're going to use to kind of like make things look a little bit more individual and rather than just you bog standard plain things um so yeah it's all coming together it's exciting like all the the patio is done, um, the fencing is up, everything is plastered. It's exciting, it's exciting. I think it's gonna be September by the time we actually move, but I think it's all gonna start coming together now. So um, it's actually my ex, my ex is a builder, so he's building the house for us. So I'm absolutely driving him mad at the moment because he's like, what do you want for this? What do you want for that? And I'm just, and I'm literally just changing everything and wanting just to walk with things like he would be happy just to put the bog standard stuff in but it's just cheaper to do it all in one go um, and get everything done how we want it from the get-go so I'm absolutely driving him mad at the moment I think he just gets annoyed because I come up with these ideas like I really want to do this or this and he's just like it's not gonna work you can't do that yeah I'll remember to actually bring you with me next time when I do go down so you can actually see and see see the plot and the views are absolutely amazing I'm also going to start posting more on my Instagram home account because there'll be like loads of exciting things to share with you on there so if you don't already follow me on there make sure you do because um I'll be posting lots of updates on there especially as we come closer and it's like all the exciting stuff starts happening like flooring and tiling and like interiors and all stuff like that I'll start posting more and more on there but yeah I'm gonna make myself a quick coffee and that was Elton thank you Elton that was lovely I'm gonna make myself a quick coffee have a quick bite to eat before I go and train in 45 minutes with Rick and um, yeah, it's just a bit of an organising day today. I've decided I'm going to sell my Givenchy Anticona bag in large just because I literally never use it. So I'm going to get that out in a minute and like just kind of make sure it's all like not got any dust on it and things like that and do some pictures um, to sell that because I literally never use it. And um, I'm going to pop some stuff on my Depot because I've... I don't know how because it wasn't even that long ago that I did that clearing out my closet video with you guys and it's completely overflowing again so I really really need to start clearing some stuff up so I'll probably put some stuff on pull some stuff for going on Depop did I say that right Depop it is Depop isn't it <laughs> um got some things I need to take back to the post office and going to the gym I mean I've lost my to-do list now what have I done with it yeah, but first I need a coffee and some food. This is one of my easiest favourites, my easiest and favourite lunches to have before I go and train. It is basically a chicken and salad, but I just add rice to it just to make it a little bit more, just to give me a little bit more energy before I go and train. And I also always add in capers and olives just to give it a little bit more flavour. And then to season, I just put salt, pepper, and a teaspoon of olive oil. 
this chicken is the chicken that I made in the air fryer last night. Um, I don't think I spoke about it on here, but I was saying on my Instagram, oh, <laughs> I'm falling backwards. There we go. Um, I don't think I spoke about it on here, but I bought an air fryer and it is the best thing I ever bought. It's so easy to make chicken and it's so nice because it stays like really, really tender on the outside, but so juicy on the inside and you can literally make everything with it. So, hmm. I also bought this the other week, which is one of those bottles that tracks your water intake. So it's only from Aldi. I think it was like three pounds and it has 800 mils. So I'm trying to drink three of these every single day. I've literally only drank 200 mils so far today. So I'm gonna have my water, catch up on some emails on my phone, eat this, and then go and see Richard at the gym. to go and see the new house and have a little look at a few things. I need to measure up the living room because I don't actually know whether the sofa is gonna fit the way I want it to fit. So I need to go and check that. I need to go and just double check which kids are having which rooms because I might be switching that around. It's just all going on today. I've got some things like homey stuff to do. But I thought I would just remember to pick my camera up and say good morning and bring you along with me. So yeah, I'm just about to leave. Yeah, it's all getting very exciting. I've also just booked myself an online consultation with Lick, which is a online um, paint and like interiors company. So I'm really excited for that on Wednesday. They also do some amazing samples, which are like stick on um, squares. So you can literally just order them and then stick them on and see how they all look in the different lights. I just actually had the boys' school reports, which I am so excited and happy and proud of them. We actually moved the boys' school this year, um, and it was one of those decisions where I was like, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Seth's in year five, Albie's in year four. I was like, shall we just leave them where they are? But I wasn't particularly happy with their school. I haven't been for a long time. And I've just had the school reports, and you know when you have one of those moments where you're like, yes, I did the right thing, I 100% did the right thing. They are so happy, so settled. Albie's confidence especially has come on so much at that school. I'm just so, so happy with it. And I was just reading through the reports and you know when you read like a school report, sometimes you, do you ever think, do you ever wonder, or is it just me, like do the teachers just write exactly the same thing in every child's <laughs> report? But with when I read both of their reports, I was like, Actually, you know, you can just tell that their teachers really know them, like they were spot on with everything, um, like their strengths, their weaknesses, where they do well, the subjects that they really enjoy and are enthusiastic about, like it was just so obvious like that they know them so well and they've only been there since, I mean, when did the schools go back? Was it just after Christmas, January? So they've only been there like half the year. So yeah, that was really made me very happy. So I'm gonna get these jobs done. Oh, so I'm gonna get these jobs done and then this afternoon after school, I'm gonna go and take them for a little treat. I'm just getting my shoes on <laughs> to go to the house. I'm gonna go and take them for a little treat um, and see what they want to do after school, um, just so that they know how proud I am. Oh, say there, doggies. But before I do just leave, actually, I'm gonna really quickly show you my outfit because I know you girls will absolutely love these shorts. I bought these shorts just in a rush the other week before we went to Wales and I wore them <laughs> literally the whole weekend. They are so, so comfy and they also do them in loads of colors. So let me just show you my outfit. So they are these little like runner shorts, but they're in, put my coffee down. Almost like a linen, like a washed linen. Do not look at the state of my nails, I need to sort them out. And they're just a really cute little, like, 
runner short and they're a really cute little runner short they're really just lightweight they've got cute little pockets so yeah this is my little outfit for today with my Burks but before I do actually leave I had two parcels over today and I thought I would just open them with you really really quickly so the first one was this box here which is from Ren and it is a PR package and it is their new I'm so excited to try this it is their plant-based um, repair protein plant-based protein with superfood repair and it is it's sweet vanilla I mean look at this be really interesting as well to see what calorie content this is. So serving is one scoop, 190 calories. So yeah, I will definitely try that out and see what I think of that. Looks amazing. And then it's also they've also sent me some of their some of their goodies. I absolutely love Ren Skincare. If you haven't tried Ren Skincare yet, oh my goodness, it is so amazing. So they've sent me their Redness Relief Serum, which I actually already have this and it's so good. Their Gentle Cleansing Gel, which I am obsessed with this. It's like a mixture between a normal cleanser and an oil cleanser, which you know I love an oil cleanser. And then this one, oh, this is their Gentle Cleansing Milk. And oh my goodness, look, they've also sent a crystal. So I'm going to find out what crystal this is because I actually love this whole idea of crystals and their healing powers. So I will find, I will Google and find out what this is. And then I also ordered a few bits from Dancing Leopard. So if you've not tried Dancing Leopard, their pieces are absolutely insane. They are like the most gorgeous, like chic, but really like individual, um, they do amazing dresses, shirts, skirts. And I could not resist this. How gorgeous is this? I will try this on later for you. I just don't have time right now. But how amazing is this? It's like a leopard print. It's like this amazing leopard print shirt. It's kind of got like a nudie, like almost pinky ready tones to it. I got it in a big size so I could wear it oversized with just some like little denim shorts. I thought it would look so cute and just like undone. So I'll try it on later and style it up for you. And then I also got another one of their like silky satiny midi skirts because I already have this one in like an orangey color and it's so nice just to wear with like trainers and t-shirt or trainers and a jumper. So I will try that on too, but the quality on these are so, so good. So yeah, I'm gonna go and jump in the car and get on my way and get these jobs done. Um, and try and have a productive day housewise today because it's all coming together it's so exciting to actually start seeing like a progression of actually getting to the point where we can think about interiors and furniture and things like that so good yeah good morning it is the next day and again i didn't put my camera up like i should have yesterday we basically just had a really nice little afternoon with the boys and celebrated them getting a really good end of year report. I was gonna go and take them to go and get like an England kit, but they're just literally sold out everywhere. So we're gonna have to order them online. I'm just shooting some outfits. So I thought I'd pick my camera up and show you. I haven't done anything to my hair today. I've literally just washed it and let it dry, but I'm kind of liking like the messy, like messy beachy boho -y look apart from it's going a little bit crazy um but i'm just shooting these outfits really quickly so this is the skirt um that i showed you yesterday which is from dancy leopard so yeah this is the skirt on i got a size six because i had an eight in another print of one of these and um it was just too big around the waist so this is a size six it is like elasticated at the back which is handy, but I literally just had to like squeeze it over my bum and my hips. But once it is actually on, it's so comfy. Um, it's made in this gorgeous, like silky, satiny material. This is just such a cute outfit. I love things like this. So I've dressed it up quite dressy. I've just put it with this little crop, um, which is just from Zara. 
and then the skirt with my trusty old favorites from Topshop. But how cute is this? This is so nice for like a little drinks outfit, like just a summer's day. You could also just so easily put this with trainers and wear it really casually with like a denim jacket or a leather jacket over the top. But I absolutely love this. I had to show you. I love like the fit on it. I think it's a really flattering fit and just such a versatile. I think these like satiny midi skirts are just so versatile to have in your wardrobe and like just style them up casually or dressy. I also have the shirts. I'm going to try this shirt on now. And this is the shirt. I love this shirt. The print on it is so lovely, but like the sleeves are so lovely. They're like a big bat wing and then like super like big and like long. These shorts were such a little find from H&M. I will link them below. They're like a black, like kind of like linen mix, like a little runner short. They are so comfy. I've worn them to death. They were like £12, but they look so lovely on. And then I've just teamed with my fluffy little dad sandals which are becoming a fave and my really cute little um personalized black bum bag which again i wear so so much really really nice i did size up in this and get a size 10 because i wanted it to be like oversized and it's the perfect fit so i would definitely say to size up. I got myself something to eat. I've made myself lots of like small little bowls to just have like small meals throughout the day. So I'm gonna go and get one of those that is rice, spicy chickpeas and some and smoked salmon because it is so so nice and it's just the right size to keep me going and then I've got to edit these pictures and um, just catch up on a little bit of admin work. Hi. Hi. So I've basically just been sat here editing the video um, and I thought I can't end it like that because <laughs> the last bit of footage that I filmed when I was showing you like all the outfits and things, I don't know, I just, I literally wasn't myself and I think you can tell straight away on the video I wasn't myself and I didn't want to just end the vlog like that. I just think it's been a really, really hard few days for me. I, we, um, we had my friend's funeral, um, two days ago and... It was really tough and then I think yesterday when I was trying to kind of like just get back into work and keep busy I was just I should have just had a day off because I just felt absolutely exhausted and drained and like emotionally so drained and I've just been feeling a little bit crap in general obviously like the last few weeks um but this morning I've I've got up and I've kind of thought to myself I just need to get back into like a good place um, and I've just been looking back over like certain times when I was really happy and just kind of like well what was I doing then when I was feeling really really happy and content and motivated and things and there's just loads of little bits I think that add up and I've kind of like just slowly stopped doing them I don't know if it's like since lockdown and life's gone back to normal and I don't know but I just felt like I just feel a bit drained and a bit like I haven't got much get up and go and motivation and like I feel like I've lost momentum, especially the last few weeks, but there's obviously just been other stuff going on. Um, so this morning I decided to just get up and just like do myself a little bit of like a happiness plan and like just think about like what, like just keep on track with things because I think so much has been going on, it's just all been getting on top of me. Like this stuff with the house, like work's really busy and the stuff with the kids is just like non-stop. And then obviously there's been everything with my friend passing away and Rick's working two jobs and, you know, setting his business up and I think it just all got a little bit on top and I feel like I needed just to sit down and like just get my headspace like organised because I'm literally all over the place. So I've done that this morning and then actually I was looking back over things and I was thinking that I'd not had like um, a call with my online coach, like my life coach in forever. And when I did have those calls with Miriam, I was in such a good place. Like I was feel, felt really content, really motivated. I felt like I knew where I was going, what I was doing. So this morning I've just woke up and thought, I'm just gonna get back on with that. So I've actually got um, a call with Miriam today, which I'm really looking forward to. I think it will get me in the right kind of zone and headspace of where I need to be. Um, so I'm hoping by the next vlog when I come on, I will feel a little bit more energised, a little bit more motivated and a little bit more like myself because I've just not felt like myself the last few weeks at all. 
So I just wanted to kind of explain that and not just end the vlog with, with me being a little bit like, mm, like no energy because unfortunately that's just how I'm feeling at the moment and it is real life and I'm always really honest with you girls on here but I don't want to feel down, I don't, I don't want to feel like, not that I felt negative but I don't want to feel like unmotivated because it's just not me, I like to constantly be like working on goals, working on projects, moving forward and I just feel like I'm stuck in a bit of a rut at the moment and I don't really know why because generally, generally I'm really happy um, just in, in life, like I feel really happy and really content so I'm not sure exactly what it is but yeah, I will see, I will, hopefully next time I pick my camera up I will be feeling a little bit more like myself I'm really looking forward to having this online, um, my life coaching call um, just to get myself back in the zone I think so yeah, I'm going to end that on a little bit more of a positive note um, and go and have that call this afternoon and I will speak to you all very soon. I love you all so, so much.